Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. We're going to be learning that gameplay and story segregation sometimes really, really sucks. Roll the intro. The Alliance needs your help. A group of Alliance ships are currently under attack by the Vardwar in the Orlita system. The Lisette is making its way there to render assistance. I want you to back them up. We don't know what the Vardwar have there, and I want to give us the best possible chance of victory. Glad to have you by our side. This is one of the systems marked for further examination during your work with Subcommander Sehen. I'm not sure what the Vodwar are up to here, but they're fighting like demons. They're attacking a small group of Alliance vessels. More hostile ships are on the way. I propose we divide and conquer. The Lisette will fly ahead and catch any incoming ships, while you free our trapped allies. Your thoughts? Vodwar fleet just arrived. This is our chance to strike before they retreat. Is lost, and we are locked out of most internal sensors. However, 
I managed to access a secure comm channel before the security codes were changed, and have located a safe location for transport. I have sent the coordinates to your ship. Without your assistance, the Lisette and her crew will be lost. The ship is swarming with Vaudois soldiers. Our security forces are attempting to engage them, but as of yet, we have not made significant gains. I am unable to contact other members of the senior staff, but I believe they are still alive. <laughs> Very coincidental, really. Our current situation is remarkably similar to my invasion scenario 4591. When you are ready, we can go over our plan of attack. We need to retake several key areas of the ship. The security team here will capture the bridge. Meanwhile, your team should storm the Med Bay, which we are very close to. Dr. Kratok should be there. After that, we must retake the armory to prevent the Vaudois from resupplying. In the majority of my scenarios, Lieutenant Terrell is there making a stand against the invaders. From there, we need to see whether the Vaudois perform like Scenario 4591 or Scenario 3291. Though, perhaps they may surprise us and be more like 6895. Uh, my apologies. We do not have time for my idle speculation. Any questions? You must stop this meaningless massacre! Consider the balance! Ah, kill this fool. I'm tired of listening to him blather. You... Oh, you, you have my thanks. Such reckless slaughter. Oh, oh th th thank you for the rescue. The Vaudois have no respect for anything other than their own selfish goals. I'm... I'm sorry, but I cannot help you any further. I am just a civilian scientist, not a trained killer... or uh, a uh, trained soldier like you. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait here until everything has settled down, unless you believe there is something I can do. Y uh, yes, oh, that is more than acceptable. I will not fight, but I can help restore the balance by helping others. I will attempt to stabilize anyone who needs help here, and then await word from you or the doctor that the medbay is safe. Your worst, your amateurs compared to the Tal Shiar. I will not sit by and let you take this ship. Thank you. Let's get to work. Glad to see you, but if you came here instead of the bridge, it means you're following a plan made by Gaius and his scenarios. The equipment here is still operational. 
I'll begin treating the wounded. There's a console nearby you can use to contact the security team heading to the bridge. Good timing. We're about to storm the bridge. We'll keep the channel open during the assault. I'll contact you again after we have control. What makes you think you will succeed where others have failed? You should have taken Gaul's offer. I imagine we both overheard the same thing. Very curious. I've run simulations where the security team failed, but none like this. We should continue with the plan. We have this area secure, and you are the only mobile unit still available. If you can recover Zhu and her team in the armory, we will have another opportunity to retake the ship. Thanks for the help, I guess. We should talk strategy. Bah! Bodwar. I'll take down every last one of them, I swear it. Nobody makes me look like a fool. I guess I'll let you deal with a few. I can't be in two places at once. We have problems in the brig and in engineering. Cyanel and his team are pinned down in engineering, and Commander Jarok and Subcommander Merrill are in the brig. I'm going to hit engineering. If the Vodwar get control of the Singularity, we're done. Think you could secure the brig? Delay them. I need more time. Disable the security grid and we can get out of here. Thank you. 
What's the situation? You're a welcome sight. I was on the bridge. We were attacked by just one Vadwar. But he was different. Stronger. Unstoppable. He wiped out our security team. But he knocked Var and me out. Put us here for questioning. What's happening? Do we have control of the bridge? Is Zynel there? If he and Zhu can hold engineering while we take the bridge, we can take control of the ship and then clean up the Vodwar from there. I'll, I'll still need some time to recover. You and Subcommander Merrill should head to the bridge. I'll stay here and monitor the situation. Be on your guard. The Vodwar that took that bridge shrugged off our attacks like they were nothing. He won't go down easily. Commander Jurok requires our assistance. He's... gone. Strange. Excellent work. We have control of the ship's life support, navigation, and weapon systems again. According to the logs, the Vodwar leader was attempting to open fire on your ship. Doesn't look like he could get past Lieutenant Salon's security algorithm. I'll handle things up here, but could you use that console to contact Lieutenant Terrell? Tell her to scramble her security teams and find that Vodwar. I've survived worse than you. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Was this all a trick to lure us away from engineering? What are they trying to... No, he couldn't. I fear the worst. If the Vaudoir is in engineering, he could turn off the shielding protecting the Singularity Core. Without containment, the Singularity will implode. This way. Nowell and I have a plan. Very predictable. If the Vaudois can't use the Lisette to attack other ships, they will make a statement by destroying us with our own singularity. I've analyzed the data from other teams fighting the Vardois. It's pointless for you to try to fight him. Your weapons are inadequate for the task. However, Narl has come up with an interesting theory that may work. The vents in the Singularity Core carry a modified version of plasma. I'm not cleared to give you all the details, but the Lisette is testing several advances that have not been provided to other ships in the fleet at this time. Narrell believes direct exposure to this modified plasma may create a vulnerability in the Vodwar. I believe this plan has a low chance of success, but it is the best option we have. If you can lure the Vodwar beneath the vents, Narrell and I will overload them, causing the plasma to cover the Vodwar and weaken him. You'll have one more problem to deal with before that, however. The Vaudois has erected a shield around the Singularity Core. Very smart, I must say. No one will be able to affect him when he is inside. You must trick him into dropping that shield. I suggest playing towards the Vaudois' pride. That is usually the surest way to convince someone to make a suboptimal move. Once that is done, lure the Vaudois beneath one of the vents. We'll activate the plasma, and then you can properly knock out our friend. Your ship is doomed! You made it. A shame. We had hoped you would be neutralized by now. But you show an unusual resilience. Perhaps that's why Gaul made his generous offer. You're too late to stop what is happening. 
the Singularity Core's overload has already begun. You will all be destroyed by your greatest weapon. It's almost poetic, really. Ah, my pride as a Vardwar. That's good. Very good. This is simply the most efficient way. I could kill you all one at a time, but I have better things to do. Interesting. But will you abandon the Lisette, or will you stay until the last glorious second to try and save it? Regardless, I will admit you make a point. You've survived too many of your previous encounters for me to leave anything to chance. I will enjoy seeing the last bit of life leave your eyes. He's vulnerable to the plasma. Focus your fire. Lure him back beneath one of the pipes. He's vulnerable to the plasma. Focus your fire. It's time to finish this. It'll take more than that to kill me. I will not be stopped! We need a better solution. I've got just the thing. Was that thing? I don't know, but we need a better way to fight it. I'll get to work. Thank you for all your help. Without you, we would have lost the Lissat. It's unfortunate we couldn't capture the Vodwar alive for questioning. He was unlike anything I've ever seen. What made him so powerful? Neryl did manage to get a few scans. He's compiling a report on what he found, and your success with the plasma. We'll need to adapt. We can't count on throwing every Vodwar like him into a Singularity core. We will handle the repairs. You should return to your ship when you are ready. Commander Jurok, I have some preliminary data for you. The Vodwar gave off a modulated carrier wave every time he was attacked by an energy weapon. In effect, he reflected the energy outward as infrared radiation. Owl and I are not yet clear on whether this is a product of biology or technology, but he did show strange isoboromy neurotransmitter activity. Regardless, this will give us a starting point to find vulnerabilities. I'll send on more findings as we complete them, and we should be able to adapt our weapons to be more effective in the future. Hello? House Coat Gaming, signing off.